Now, using my punches um, to, to set up for my knees. All right, so first punch I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go combo jab cross. Now, when I throw my jab cross, a lot of people have a bad tendency to try to rush in and throw the knee. And it looks a little something like this. What I happen is they'll go jab cross and then try to rush in for the knee. It's stupid, it's stupid. Because I wanna walk right into some stupid shit, all right? So what you want to do is, as you throw your jab cross, you want to you want to inch your inch your worry forward. So with each punch, you want to walk forward. Jab, cross. I've already cut the distance, and I barely had to do anything. Look how much closer I am. Versus this, I do this. All right, not perfect, not perfect. This is, but I'm closer. So we're gonna. What I always like to do is whatever hand is the last one to hit my target with, I throw the opposite side knee. And you probably didn't call that contralateral motion. It's a lot easier to go left, right, left, right. So your brain has to do that thing. Oh, no, ah, re recorrect my balance. No, nah, no, nah. so we just go left, right, left, right. So I go jab, cross. Now when I step to this outside for this knee, I, I gotta clear that hand. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to carry that hand away, capture the back of the head. Boom. One more time. I'm gonna go jab, cross with his back leg. Keep your hands up until I clear. I'm going to clear, capture. As long and then look what I'm doing. Sorry, I'm keeping my hand there. I'm keeping my hand here. I'm not bringing it back out. The reason I do that is he needs to bring that hand back to his face so that he can like clench me. Or wrestle me or like throw punches. But if I'm here and I'm blocking the crook of that arm, it's kind of hard for him. I can kind of like keep, yeah, you see? Yeah. <laughs> and if he tries to flare it up, oh, now I got that. <laughs> so it's a little trap that you can set. So it's going to take some time to remember to have it there, but do it to the best of your ability. So one more time, I go jab, cross, stepping in. One, two, I. Clear the hand. Notice how I clear the hand. I step and I clear. Boom. Lean in like so. Hand on the back of the head, hand on the crook of the arm. And what I do is, instead of trying to bring the knee up to him, I make him bring his chest halfway to the knee. Boom. And then I exit back out. And you make sure that back, the back foot is on the outside of his front foot. It's on the outside of his front foot. It is, it's, I mean, it doesn't always happen because sometimes it's here, but it's better. But you don't want it right in front of Yeah, because he can kick and sweep me out if I'm trying to like. Yeah, I can do it. Not me. <laughs> I will even already roll your knee out. <laughs> so he's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel lucky? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Does your knee feel lucky? No. Exactly. <laughs> so one more time. I'm going to go jab, cross. As I step out, I'm going to clear this hand. Pop, capture. Keep the hand there. Boom. And you're going to be in south fall when you finish. You might. I mean, some people might boom and then they'll continue to attack. But I, because we're exiting out, I won't be in the south fall. Because I will hear boom. Then I'll come back to the original stance. Oh, you see me outside? Okay. On three. One, two, three. Yeah,